everyone, hey, welcome back. It is now the 19th of uh, January. Uh, it's around about four o'clock, half past four. Uh, it's been a nice day, the sun's been out. It was cold this morning, uh, but the sun's been out all day. And uh, it's quite nice, quite warm in here as well. Uh, we have had some bits of germination going on. So you remember I set some leaks away, some uh, muspar leaks. We've done two batches, one for this garden here and one for the second plot. So these are just sat inside of a cold a greenhouse. Uh, we're no heat on now like that. Uh, we have tried to put a bit of fleece up just to protect them a little bit. And uh, hopefully you can see there, as you can see there, we're starting to get some nice little germination. So I'm not watering these now like that because enough fluid inside of there, enough water inside of there uh, to keep these leaks going for a while. Because like I say, it is still a little bit cold and the last thing we want is this water to be lingering around these pots and causing air uh, problems. But there we go, spot on. So let's see, let's see how we get on. The onions, what we've done as well, uh, we have got slight germination, not loads. But as you can see around the back here, uh, not loads, but like I say, it's a cold greenhouse so it just goes to show that uh, it has been getting warm and stuff inside of here for these are germinating like i say guys i don't give them plenty of water because that just make the compost cold and uh, it just stay cold and then they're not germinate so drier the better really A little look on these leaks uh, so these leaks are looking okay uh, they're not doing much movement but it is what it is uh, i expected that because like i say guys are just sitting inside here they've got no heat uh, these are just little uh, ones to mess around with but i can just put around the garden and stuff and uh, see what comes from them uh, nice leaks but uh, like i said i'm really weird uh, and much of a movement which i expected but they will they will start moving soon as soon as it starts eating a bit more but yeah about 50 of them so so the cabbages what i got at home what i've just set away uh just for germination as you've seen a bone running into the grow lights here we've got some like uh, two nice nice size ones uh, these are the rest of them what we brought down to the uh, garden just to sit inside of this greenhouse uh, same again guys obviously they haven't moved much because of the the light uh, but the hole in there and uh, seem to be happy enough to sit inside of this little pot so like i say it's no heat on now like that so they're just plodding on it's going to be around about february time when i set some more away but these are the giant cornish so i want to have a couple early and also i want to do a couple later on as well uh, just spread them around but these are going to be going down to the other plot i might have, have the odd one up here but all the big ass stuff hopefully Hopefully, are going to, it's going to be going down to the to the new plot. Uh, but yeah, sitting around nicely. <coughs> if you've looked on the uh, wee little video, uh, it was a, a slideshow uh, of the other garden. What I managed to do was is I managed to get some strings put in to separate the beds. I will do a little video on it, so you've got an idea what I'm on about. Uh, but where I put the strings, I'm I'm thinking about growing some peas, draw peas and stuff like that, and also some uh, beans as well. Uh, I haven't really grew beans around the garden before, uh, so this time I'm going to grow them a little bit and just see how we get on, uh, because I do like, like the old broad bean. Uh, so that's the plan. So I'm going to do some peas. Uh, I have done some beans, some broad beans, probably a little bit early, don't know, never grew them before, but I just set them away anyway, and uh, just to check, and uh, up, we're inside of a multi-cell tray, what's just sitting over there, they've been there for a good week now, nothing's come through just yet, so, like I say guys, I'm just messing around, having a little bit of experiment, because it's going to be around February time, when I start setting certain stuff away, uh, these peas, I've got some peas here, so these are an early, uh, early onwards, and you can sow these from February outside. Now I understand that all the timings are a bit different. Uh, I think it's, it's 
if you're more down south, because I'm quite high up, high up north. Uh, so if you're more down south, I think I think we're like about four weeks behind. So ideally, it's going to be around about March time, I think, when you start doing stuff like this. Uh, I'm not going to bother with that. At the end of the day, my opinion is every season is different. The weather changes all the time. Like I said, I remember when I first got the garden. Uh, this is coming up to 4K now. When I first got this garden, I remember in February we were setting seeds away and the weather was absolutely lovely. Lovely. And uh, I never forget it. You know, I got all the photographs, I look back at it. Uh, so, me personally, give it a shot. You know what I mean? Not going to be lose now. These peas are cost a quid. That was it. You know, so. I want to set some away because like I say my plan of action is is to put them along them strings and they can act like some sort of border hopefully and then I can grow some stuff in between them uh, but like I say guys if you haven't had a look at that size show uh, I will uh, upload a video next time I'm down in the garden and I'll show you what I'm about so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a tray just a multi cell tray uh, we've got one two three four five in there so I've got ten twenty forty when I've 40 of them in there. I've got a big pack of seeds. Got loads in, loads in. So like I say guys, you're not really losing nothing. I am going to put a bit cover over the top of them as well. Propagate a lid, give it a clean and put that over the top of them. Uh, that'll just keep any uh, mice out and stuff like that off them. And also just help them a little bit as well. Like I say on the on the back of this packet here, it says that you can sow them, start sowing them outside from February. So they're going to be inside this greenhouse and stuff like that so you know hopefully hopefully they'll be all right so i'm just going to just push one pea in each one that, that, that's all I, that's all i do and then what happens is when they start growing growing through once they start growing through uh the ones we haven't germinated I'll just pop an our seed in because like i say i'm going to keep them in these trees for a little bit till they get a fair enough size you know and then i'm going to nip the top off so we'll encourage here uh, some side shoots off so it'll be plenty of time to get another one to grow or another two or whatever but like i say this one here is just a little experiment just to see if anything comes through a lot of people grow these inside of A lot of people grow these inside of your uh, drain pipes and stuff like that. The gutter in. So you get a long bit of gutter in, put loads of compost, you hide loads of seed in, you hang it up somewhere, you put it somewhere, and then all you do is you just dig a little trench in the garden and you just slowly just slide it into the trench. So when I'm sowing these seeds, what I'm doing is I'm keeping the seed at the surface of the the actual multi cell so I, I get it loaded up and I'll show you so yeah it's, it's different ways how people do the peas yeah I will probably try the gutter in sometime but at this moment of time I always done it like this and it works quite well and I just pull the plugs out and uh, happy days I don't know if you can see, but as you see, I kept them quite uh, quite high up. And the reason being is, is because like I said, they're going to sit in this pot for a while, and it just it just gives it a lot, a lot more room for the roots to uh, develop and stuff like that. They've got more room. Uh, if I push that seed more or less right down or past, just past the centre of the little multi cell, it's not going to have much room to uh, start rooting. So keep them quite high up as, as, as you can and then just push the compost just over the top of it lightly a lot of people like to soak these for a bit before you uh, transplant them in like set your seed away soak them a little bit just to soften them off and encourage them 
I don't do that. What I do is I just keep on watering them. But you have got a chance of them rotting off. So you gotta be careful, you got you got like kind of judge it, you know. But I do it like this all the time, and it just spot on. Absolutely spot on. So there we go, just cover them a little bit of soil and I just give them a little bit of a little bit of a soak. So how that lid on. Just like that. And that can sit there nice and happy. Put it inside the inside the hat just for that little bit of extra protection. And look at it, I not even touch the sides, still loads there, loads. And I've got potentially 40 plants there. And then by the time you chop the tops off, and they shoot their little side shoots out, I have loads of peas. But yeah, uh, we didn't really grow many of these there uh, last year, something happened. Uh, we, we dad tried to do them, I didn't really bother me, and uh, they didn't work out. So we've got a nice little setup down at the other garden where I'm going to put some. So. I've got a variety of P and all, but I can't remember, but they're a bit of a later one. So there we go, guys. Well, once again, they're uh, early onwards, and you can start sowing them outside directly uh, from February. But I'm doing it early because I want to, and they, they're inside of a greenhouse. So there we go. I have got some peas growing around the garden anyway, so what I do is I spin the camera around. And I'll just give you a little scan so you've got an idea of what's going on. Uh, like I say, not a lot's changed at this moment of time. We're just trying to get stuff sorted. Because uh, there's a lot going on trying to get the two gardens uh, ready to uh, start of the new season, basically. So there we go, guys. So I'll spin the car around now. And we'll go to the top of the garden and have a look at these peas while i got grown. Right, guys, uh, I'll quickly show you these peas. Uh, just because it's starting to get a bit... Well, it's starting to get dark now a little bit. So the light's starting to go. So... Just bear with us two seconds. I'll spin the camera around. So, as you can see there, we've got some peas going along there. I, I am going to get all this cleared out. I've got a load of garlic running along the back there. Uh, but I'm going to get rid of all this pack chow and stuff and uh, give it a clear out. Keep a hold of the garlic inside of there. Uh, put a bit topsoil on. And then uh, I might grow some carrots and stuff like that inside of this uh, this year. Probably use this, it's just use it as a raised bed. And then hopefully the greenhouses down the bottom, we can get some peppers and stuff like that inside of there. And we can do some tomatoes inside of there as well. Anything else around the garden? The raised bed, that's doing okay. It's just covered there, so with the cardboard. A little bit of manure on the ground there, what we're going to be digging in. We've got some nice little bulbs here of uh, fennel. We've got some leeks running along there and some leeks there, but we're going to we're going to get them pulled up. We're going to get that pulled up so we can get the rest of the garden all sorted out now. Uh, basically, it's just getting anything just ready, clean, uh, tidy, and uh, start preparing what we're going to be putting on the ground and where, the, where it's going to be going this year. Like I say, guys, that one of the that bit of raised bed up there, what was inside the pony tunnel. Uh, that one again, that pony up tunnel up there. Anytime soon, uh, as I'm already working on one down at the other plot. So we'll probably just use that as a raised bed uh, for this season, and then hopefully the following year I will try and sort something out and get a pony tunnel built there or something like that. But you never know. We can see what happens in the summer. Uh, so I'll meet you back inside the greenhouse. Okay, guys. Right guys, uh, back here inside of the greenhouse. Uh, so there we go guys, just a little look at we peas. Uh, I put them in ages ago, I put them in when I had the pony tunnel. I was going to grow them, just cut them. Not for the actual pea, just cut them for the, the pea shoots. It was absolutely lovely, nice and fresh. Uh, I, and that, and unfortunately, got blown all over, destroyed. 
and uh, that's the stuff I just left inside of it. Some of the stuff's okay, you know, all the garlic's come through nicely. And then peas and all, yeah, seem to be okay. But like I say, that was just a bit of a mess around to see what sort of stuff I can grow inside of the ponytail, which is no longer there no more. So that's the end of that. Uh, what I've gone and done is I've gone and brought uh, the cassabs inside of this uh, greenhouse. So if you remember when I've done a video where I had them all uh, put inside of this mushroom tray, uh, it was pretty dry, so I just added a little bit of water, I just give them a little bit of water and there uh, because I'm hoping to get some cuts from these uh, because these were pretty nice. I had a, a Allison piece and also I had a Crystal Lawson. Uh, they were sitting inside of there in a little pot and uh, they just look like twigs at the moment so I'm hoping to get uh, hopefully that they're, they're alive still because I don't know if last year was the first year growing them and that Chris Lawson was absolutely beautiful. It was like a nice reddy purple, like a two-tone. Oh, it was absolutely stunning. And I'm hoping to get a few cuttings off them. Because the plan with them is they're going to be going down to other garden as well. Uh, I am looking around some decent for some decent uh, dealias. And uh, I think I found a place up in uh, Frockley. Uh, I can't remember the name of the place now, what it's called. Uh, something Hall. Uh, Hayden's Hall or something like that. Hayden's Hall can't remember now uh, but I managed to find the website and I've been on having a look and they've got some absolutely beauties they actually sell the Christopher Lawson's there as well uh, so I'm quite tempted to get some more because I'm, I'm worried a little bit because like I say it was a lovely plant but I'm just going to see see if any of the green starts coming on them because uh, I know it's still too early for them you know but I never grew them before and when you just see a stick like that you, you know you just panic a little bit so it's all learning at the end of the day you know, I think I paid about four, three pound, four pound for the cutting, so I can get them again, you know, uh, to no bother. Uh, but I was hoping to have the own this year, so I have a few of them, because uh, like I say, they're lovely, because I've got some nice white ones, Billy Bell, uh, the white ones, I've got the uh, Allison piece, uh, which is the yellow ones, also I've got some other ones as well, uh, so <clears throat> I'm hoping to get some cuttings. So for the other garden guys, uh, I've worked out a plan of action what I'm going to be doing with the pony tunnel. Uh, I'm going to frame out the doorway and also I'm going to frame out the back bit. It's just so I can get the plastics because the plastic is going to cost us, like I say, about 130 quid. Uh, for when I hide the plastic over the top of it, for when I tuck it inside of the doorway, so I've got something to bring it in around to stitch it through. Uh, I'll go through all that uh, when we start doing work on it. Uh, so now I've got a plan of action in my head. What I need to do is once we get it a bit better weather, kind of no rush, uh, I need to get the pony tunnel put in position where it's going to be going. I need to fix it down and then I need to get it framed out uh, where I'm going to be doing the doorway and stuff just so I can wrap the plastic round. And then the slabs, what are inside, what I said I'm going to be pulling up, I want to start getting them pulled up see what the ground's like might need a little bit of feed or something like that. i don't know uh pull them up see what the ground's like and then what i need to do is i need to get the ground covered again till i get the cover put over the top of it so i'm not taking all the weeds out basically uh, i will give it a turnover and stuff like that uh, just in case it is any weeds or anything there what need to come out and they uh, hope we've got a nice little area for the pony tunnel to go the only issue is is the path's quite long where the pony tunnel is sitting on so the pony tunnel is not sitting flat to the floor because of the path so what i need to do is i need to braid out with a sledgehammer uh, so i need to grab a hold of a sledgehammer and then i can tackle that job uh, <clears throat> so i'm in no rush like i say i've got a plan action in my head what i'm going to be doing uh, at the moment i'm making some raised beds uh, so i already made one uh, i'll show you a little uh, video of it if i can or picture i may have a picture because uh, I want to do another video with the garden, I'll show you properly. So, I want a couple of raised beds for down there so I can put, we, say, we uh, strawberries in and also some carrots and stuff like that. And also, so I can do like a bit like a no dig uh, raised bed uh, so I'm not turning over all the time and things like that. Uh, but, like I say, maybe it's for some strawberries, some carrots, some radishes, uh, things like that. I'm, I'm thinking about making about three of them. Uh, like I say, I already made one and looks spot on. It's a nice size. Uh, just need to fill it, get it in where I'm going to put it and get it filled up. Uh, so there we go, guys. I'm going to leave it on that note now because I'm going to get myself away because it is starting to get dark. 
Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, thank you very much for all your likes and your comments. Really, really appreciate it, guys. Uh, if you know we channel and all that, welcome to the channel. And uh, like I say, this is Garden Channel. So any questions you've got, any advice, out like that, feel free, fire them over. Uh, but there we go, guys. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, hopefully this season will be a good season for all and uh, we'll get some lovely lovely crops uh, also I've been in contact with the Harrogate uh, shows uh, just inquiring about because I've never done it before but I've been in contact or emailed them just inquire about how you enter the competitions what you need to do and all that sort of stuff you know so they're going to find me some information over and stuff because uh, like I say I've never done it before don't know if you can just walk up with the bed and say yep can I have that in there thank you very much uh, so I'm looking into that at the moment uh, obviously it's going to be the autumn one the later one because uh, when the reply back went you just a tad early but I thought I was new to it you know and they went you just a tad early uh, and then they said well, they're going to email us with information what I need and stuff like that you know so that was very nice of them uh, so I am getting in contact with them uh, what we'll probably do is hopefully what I'm thinking about doing it's just the COVID at the moment is uh, hopefully we can get up to the shows just to have a little look um, if I have some decent stuff, I might give it a little shot and just enter it and just go for it. Uh, but I like to go up and have a little look, have a walk around, check out, have a look with some of the growers and stuff like that, you know, speak to them and that. And just have a look around, just get a feel of it first, you know what I mean? Because like I say, it's all new to us. Uh, but we'll see, we'll see how we'll get on, you know, if, if I grow anything decent. And all you guys are like, oh, that's canny, that looks canny. Uh, you know, I'll probably give it a shot. But, but we'll see, we'll see. Like I say, this new garden where I'm going to try to do all this stuff at, uh, I reckon I need to get a season out of the way first because like I say I'm turning all this ground over and I've got no idea what's going to be popping through it could be a nightmare uh, so we need to get the season out of the way first so I am working towards it and uh, I'm really looking forward to it so I have got some big plans and stuff like that that's going to be coming up so stay tuned guys uh, but there we go we'll let you be thank you very much take care and hopefully I'll catch you again soon okay guys